Hello everyone and welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews. Today we're going to be doing a review on ET So, but first and foremost, let's just go over the boxing that it comes with. It actually comes with these two books and it actually is a really neat presentation because this is actually fake books on the side here, but these actually fit right in here like so. Um, actually, if you lined it up properly, it would actually look like that. And the other one would go in as well. But it's really neat concept that they have there. Um, I, I really, I think that's, that's, that's really brilliant. And all their watches come with this setup. They usually give you a um, catalog full of their newest watch collection. And this is the history of Tissot. Um, really neat, um, really neat packaging. I, I, I really, um, I really, it's one of my favorite um, presentations of a watch. So I do like this red and black uh, look. It almost looks like a, almost like a couch, right? Um, would actually make for a pretty neat couch, but very modern looking. And as you open it, the watch just, I, I, I just threw it in there just for the dramatic effect. And even up here, I don't know if you guys knew, but up in this area here, they actually have like a little felt like patch and it has a really nice presentation. And you can even stick like your um, extra straps in there. Um, there's even um, this here that helps to fold and keep it folded. Um, so, I mean, just really, really neat presentation, guys. And then that just goes right back up into the box, like so. So, enough about the box. Let's talk about this watch here. This is actually Tissot's Quartz Movement. It is a Swiss-made movement. It is a 10-bar. I'll run that across the screen as to that water resistance. And this watch is finished in mostly black, including the backside. And on the backside, it has some information, sapphire crystal, which is what we would expect at this price point. It is stainless steel. And as we can see here, 10 bar, 100 meters, which is 330 feet. So <clears throat> there you go. So Tissot has a rich history that dates back to 1853. I won't get into all that. So let's, if, I, if you guys want to know about it, um, buy a Tissot. It's all in the book here. It's awesome. So basically, um, the detailing of this watch is really cool because it's got rose gold, two rings around it in rose gold with the, the black in between, which is really a nice touch. And it's got rose gold hands, as we can see. So the second hand is rose gold, and the hour and second hand, or minute hand, is rose gold as well, including the subdial hands as well. The subdials are a different color, or should I say, a different shade than the dial itself. And the dial itself actually has a nice gray sunburst look to it which is really nice. The hour markers are actually applied rose gold. That's very nice. And then the minutes are printed in white. The uh, sapphire crystal is beveled at the edges and it is a flat crystal. So a little bit of cost savings there. Um, I would have liked to see a little bit of a dome um, with a price point of this, but um, it doesn't take away. Again, as you guys know, I have to be a little bit nitpicky because no watch is perfect. Um, I did change the strap out of this watch. Um, it was a black mesh, but it was just too much black for me. And as a lot of you guys know, I'm a huge fan of contrast. And I think that brown goes extremely well, especially a dark brown goes extremely well with uh, rose gold. So I think it really sets it off. 
Um, if we want to set the date, we just pull out the crown one position and we just dial it down just like that. Very precise too. I mean, you, I, I have my finger on the back here and I can actually feel it engage with each. That's quality right there, okay? And when you set the time, it's one more click and it's really tight. That's just like a really quality movement. It's just, Tissot does a really good job with their watches. Um, chronograph function is very simple. There's your one tenth of a second. One tenth or one one hundredth. I'm not, uh, I, I, I get too confused, but there, that's just counting down in between each second. This is your second hand here. And this counts down the minute up to 30 minutes. And this one's still tracking your regular time. Stop it with the top pusher and reset it just like that. When we look at some dimensions of the watch, um, we will take a look at the case diameter and the case diameter is a 41. So really nice size. I, I like anything above 40 and below 43, um, 43 or below. Case thickness, uh, we're at 11 millimeter case thickness. Um, let's go lug to lug here since um, I always forget to do that. And lug to lug, we are looking at lug to lug, we're looking at a 46 millimeter. And our um, lug thickness is. 20 millimeters, um, and you can even see that on the strap here is a 20 millimeter, and there's actually absolutely no gapping, so it's a perfect fit. So, so when we do a, a customary wrist check, I am wearing an old school Movado. Um, haven't worn this one in a while. This thing is just a classic, and this is also a Swiss quartz movement. Um, it's actually Swiss made, but. There we go. So let's switch this off for the Tissot. By the way, that Movado was a 38 millimeter uh, case diameter. This Tissot is a 41 and it fits my seven inch wrist perfectly. I think it's a perfect size. I love the way it looks on the wrist and it is comfortable. Um, I am still breaking in the strap, but once the strap gets broken in, the watch will rest nicely on the wrist um, better than it is right now. So right now in this configuration, um, I think it's versatile. I think you could wear this um, as a dress piece, but I think you can also wear this out with uh, jeans and a shirt and just a casual shirt. Um, I don't find this watch to be overly dressy, but again, that's totally up to you guys and your individual taste. So. Um, really guys, that's all I have for you. Um, I really do appreciate you guys joining me and remember there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Average Joe Watch Reviews.